In this video, we'll be looking at the VLOOKUP. The VLOOKUP is a very common function, as common, if not more common, than the IF function, and it's one of those that employers really like to ask prospective employees about in interviews. So in this example, we will take a computer's product ID number, and based on values in a table, we will return the type of modem. Then we'll do another one that will, instead of returning the, uh, the type, it will return the price. Our table that we're basing our data off of is over here on the right. You can see that we have a column for the product ID, the modem type, and the price. What the VLOOKUP will do is, based on what product ID we're looking at, it will give us the information about that specific computer. And we could do this in our head pretty simply. If I told you that the ID number is AR1001, you could look at the table, for example, and see that the price is $285.31. The VLOOKUP will do the same thing. The first thing I'll do uh, is enter the product ID that we want to look at. I'm going to use uh, AR1005. In C7, I will enter a VLOOKUP that will tell me the type or the modem type for this product ID that we've chosen. So I'm just going to type the uh, syntax right here into my spreadsheet. I'll start with an equal sign and then the name of the function, which is VLOOKUP. Okay, and then we have our, our screen tip here, which can help us out. It tells us the, uh, the syntax. We've got the lookup value, the table array, column index number, and then finally the range lookup. So first we're asked for the lookup value. This is the piece of information that we already know about this computer order. It also happens to be the same type of information as you would find in the first column of that table, which if you remember is the ID. So the product ID on this order is AR1005, which I just typed. That is my lookup value. Now we have to put in a comma here to move on to the next uh, argument, the table array. All right, so the rest of these arguments are just gonna tell us a little bit more about how we've set up our table. The table array is just a reference to our table of information. Okay, so let me just go ahead and select the values here. Okay, now if we were going to copy this formula, we would need to hit F4 and make this an absolute cell reference. And we're not going to copy it, so it doesn't matter which way we do it. I'll just leave it uh, as a regular relative cell reference here. Next, we're asked for the column index number. The column index number tells us what column our results is going to come from. So if we were to number our columns, because it says column index number, product ID would be the first column, modem type would be the second, and price would be the third. So in this case, we want modem type to be our result, and that is the second column in that table. So our column index number is two. Lastly, we're asked for the range lookup, and we've got a little hint here that says if it's true, we're looking for an approximate match. If it's false, we're looking for an exact match. Now, false is used when every possible value, or in this case, product ID, every possible product ID is represented in the table. A quick trick to figure out what you need to do is when you're looking at words, uh, you need to use an exact match. If they're values, more often than not, you'll use the true. So in this case, every product ID is here in the table, so we want to use false. All right, I'll use a right parenthesis to finish my formula, and when I hit enter, I can see that the modem type for uh, product ID AR1005 is a 56K desktop type. So let's try another one. We'll do this for the price. And this time I'll open up the uh, insert function menu here. I find my VLOOKUP. You may need to search for it if it's not one that you use commonly. I use it pretty frequently, so it's showing up here on the most recently used. And I'll click OK. And we're asked for the same information again. First is the lookup value. Now our lookup value is going to be the same product that we used before, which is our product ID in cell B5. Our table array, again, will be a reference 
to my table. Now notice I'm not including the headers here, I'm just including the values from the table. Now column index number, let me move this out of the way here, column index number, this time we're looking for the price. Now the price in our table is in the third column, so instead of using the column index number of two, we'll use the column index number three. And our range lookup, again, our table still, every value is represented in our table, so again, we'll put false. All right, so notice this is the same exact formula that we had for the modem type. The only difference is the column index number telling us which column to pull our result from. All right, and we can see that it's $78.83 for this particular uh, model of computer.